One of that uh, is, is the platform that we pride ourselves on, which is our online uh, uh, platform called Itswane. It's a platform that just allows residents to engage with the city uh, electronically from the comfort of their home or their work. So the solutions that we've been able to put their solutions around being able to, to transact in terms of payment of uh, services, being able to upload meter readings. For example, some people are not able to be at home when meters are read. So there, there, there is a way that you can do that. Lodge, uh, lodge uh, queries as well. Uh, we've added some of the functions over the last two years or so. Part of them include applying for clearance certificates, uh, uh, applying for other services such as water connection, electricity connection. We've also put in our investment platform there. So that's one of the of our flagship uh, projects that we've put in, in, in place just to, to, to allow for the discussions that we spoke about earlier that outside of the normal uh, government hours, people can be able to transact with the, with, with, with the city. We've also put in a number of other online platforms like the electronic wayleaf uh, application system. So uh, developers and everyone in that space can be able to apply, uh, get refunds and deposits that they put in when they apply for wayleaf, as well as just uh, 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 many other submissions that can be done around the, the, the processes of apply, apply, applying for, for wayleaf. Uh, we've tried to late a WhatsApp channel. Part of it is just to extend the services that are on the e on the on, on the WhatsApp uh, platform. We we've looked at different ways in terms of whether we, do we need another app or so on. Uh, we, what we've seen on the research, this research are suggesting is that even on a normal smartphone now people have at least about seventy to eighty apps. So there is not always an, an appetite for people to download another application, especially if they're just using it to, to interact with the government that sometimes they don't like. So uh, we, we've put in a, a WhatsApp channel, which will allow now for viewing of statements, uh, for uh, uh, accessing some of the electronic, electronic forms that otherwise will be able to only get them through walking into the office or getting them on the, on the website so you can easily navigate to get uh, some of those forms there. The aim is that we grow that into replicating some of the services that, 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 that are in, on each one to be, to be on the WhatsApp channel. There, there are other initiatives that we've done that are inward looking. So what I, I was speaking to, it's initiatives that are a customer uh, facing and maybe the last one that is worthy to mention is our Wi-Fi program. Uh, it's, it's quite a, a, a popular program. The city runs about uh, 1,100 hotspots around the city. Uh, our citizens can get up to one gigabyte a day free on a, on a, on, on, on a hotspot. Uh, so it's, it's a service that, that, that is available in many respects. Uh, for people to be able to 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 access uh, uh, internet at a service that is free, so people can apply for jobs and 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 be able to access opportunities that otherwise would have been at a cost. And uh, we've seen as well there are a lot of online learning and all of that, so we, it has been able to be an alternative to uh, buying data and so on. So we have the Wi-Fi program. So those are some of the programs. There are some that are still in the pipeline that are still awaiting resolution from courts like the broadband project where the vision is around seeing if it's possible to have a wall-to-wall -wall coverage of fiber in the city that is of a carrier grade uh, uh, quality which uh, because really our, our thinking is around that from the studies that we've seen is that investment in IT has been proven to have a very strong correlation to economic growth and, 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 and increased economic activity. So that's the idea behind all these uh, uh, IT initiatives that are, 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 are public facing. And in terms of just internally the institution, there are a number of things that we're trying to do. Some of them will solve the way that the municipality work, but uh, 
entirely, it will also help in terms of how citizens uh, engage with the, with the city. We've tried things such as uh, electronic document management system, which just helps us in terms of managing uh, records of the city. But it also, even though it's inward facing, it also helps in terms of community accessing records of the city. They are easy to retrieve and so on. So those are some of the initiatives amongst many that the city is implementing towards, towards being a, a, a smart city.